What's up guys, this is Lakecom here, we're back with yet another trove video on the channel and today we've got a rather hyped up event that I've posted a sneak peek of in the last couple of videos back then, so yeah, it's finally here. The Turkeytopia event, yup, it is finally here, November 17th until November 30th, so in this video we're going to be covering the quest line and what you're going to need in order to complete this very easy quest line. So as you can see in the top right hand corner of my screen we have got the quest line right there, so it asks us to open the Turkey Topia table, so let's head on over into the hub and let's complete this quest as quick as possible. Alrighty, so now that we're in the hub, let's head on over into the area located in the northwest side of the hub as this Turkey Topia table will be located. Rather simple, rather easy. Let's get this completed. There we go. So the next one, we have got the quest asking us to get Turkey Topia mystery boxes from dungeons. Now, the easiest way for you to actually complete this, I'm going to head on over into Fate Forest Uber 1. I'm going to be completing a couple of dungeons because believe me or not, this is going to be the easiest way for you to actually obtain these stuff right here. Shot right there. And let's open up this box. And there we go. First box down, we've got the Turkeytopia mystery box. But yes, you can kind of experiment it on your own. And there we go. It's been three dungeons. We have obtained two Turkeytopia mystery boxes. Alrighty. So I think this is going to be the dungeon that we will need in order to obtain the last Turkeytopia mystery box. And there we go. Four dungeons completed this quest. Rather simple. Now let's head on over back into hub to craft this next Delft Gateway Dixley Demise portal. Let's craft this Dixley's Demise. It's gonna be worth a little bit, but not too much. But there we have it. So we're gonna receive three empowered gem boxes. So we have got the Dixley's Demise Delft Gateway. Not really entirely sure what it's gonna, you know, be like, but we can only head on over into our cornerstone and place this portal right down as we, you know, just take a look at what it does. So there we go. It's going to be depth 11. Pretty simple. I'm just going to solo it on my own. And I guess the way that these depths actually work is that if you're having a depth of, let's say, 11 on, let's say, your class like a Neon Ninja, um, if you didn't already know how this depth is actually calculated, it's going to be based off of the private depth that you're going to be able to, you know, um, obtain, at least when you're opening private portals. So we've got this Muffin Tufts mini boss. So... Ooh, that was rather simple. Pretty simple, and I mean, I've got 4.2k light on my Neon Ninja right now, so I'm definitely gonna be shredding these dungeons, no doubt. So, let's head on over right here. We've got this going for us, and let's kill this boss in the shorts, and boom! There we go. I have got a Turbo Turkey Crash Helmet, but that's not what we're looking for. What we're gonna be looking for is Dixley right here. So, it's gonna be located right next to this um, cache area. And we're going to click on E, we're going to get this done, and we're going to receive the recipe, the sliced slider. So with this out of the way, let's just learn this, and there we go. Okay, so we're going to learn this. It's going to give me two mastery points. It's going to give me three lustrous gem boxes. So that's going to be simple. Next quest, craft the sliced slider. So um, I've kind of uh, cheated here, I guess. I have got two trotting turkeys in my inventory right now. But as you can see right here, um, let me just somehow just get that. All right. So these trotting turkeys in the recipe must be what Dixley was searching for down in the delves. I'm sure you can collect more than enough to make the slice slider. So I guess you could probably obtain these from opening these um, mystery boxes. Honestly, I have no idea. But I guess if you're looking for these, um, you know, trotting turkey mounts, I guess what you got to do is just keep on farming these delves because I do not exactly think that you will actually be able to obtain these items that easily. But I mean, you can always buy them in the market. I mean, trotting, um, trotting, I mean, they're, they're only about 80,000 flux either way. So you can probably farm inside these delve depths or just buy one in the market. I mean, whatever floats your boat. But let's craft this darned slice slider mag rider. Um, that kind of rhymes. But yeah, alrighty, there we go. We've got this slice slider. It's going to take some trotting turkey, some pumpkin, some totter tates, and some fairy dust. Pretty cheap, pretty cool. There we go. And we have ranked up a rank on our alternate. So there we have it. We've got 10 Turkey Topia mystery boxes. And the next question is how is this quest gonna go it's pretty simple let's go ride the slice slider there we go 
boom and there we have it a pretty interesting mouse looks like a pretty nice pumpkin pie looking thing but anyways there we have it for this rather short quest line super easy super cool super nice looking mag rider and i guess i will be revealing the packs to you guys in the next couple of videos i mean it's only going to be six thousand uh, you know and i don't know why but this is going to be coming back honestly i don't actually need this but anyways i will be buying these packs and revealing it all basically just showing you guys all of the mounts that it's gonna be showing or anyways but but that's that's gonna be all for this video guys i it was a rather short video rather easy quest line i guess that was pretty cool i mean we got some last rich gem boxes and wow three contain chaos flares guys you cannot you can't you can't ever get luck just like this will you anywhere right but anyways i guess that's signs for good omen i guess that's going to be it for this video and i will see you guys in the next couple of ones and as usual peace out